What's up guys? Uh, in this video, I realized that I had my OBS settings really low and so the videos were in horrible quality, so I changed them to be good. So, so far in this series, we've learned how to Sparrow boost, like the little speed boost, Sparrow jump, and Sparrow flick, which are all really easy. Um, we're gonna step it up a little bit here. And we're gonna go over how to sparrow fly, which is like the all-time classic of sparrow tech. It's been around since D1. Uh, well, technically all of these have, but it's really easy to do. It's just awkward timing. You gotta get used to it, just like the sparrow flick. But once you get used to it, it is actually extremely useful because of its nature. Like you can save so many deaths and stop them from happening, like where you fall off of a cliff and just save it. Like, you can also just fly across the entirety of Prophecy, like the, the ribbon area with it, and it's awesome. So, enough wasting time, let's go ahead and get into it. I don't have my keystrokes on, I've already made a tutorial on this, but I want to refresh the tutorial. I'll leave the old tutorial if you prefer having, like, the keystrokes for you, um, but it's probably not going to be as good in quality, or, like, in just overall quality, video quality. So, um, all you're going to do is start off... Step one, all right? Step one, you're gonna jump up with the glide, double jump, whatever. G jump up until you're as high as you can, and then you're gonna summon your Sparrow. So jump up and then summon your Sparrow. From the top, when you summon your Sparrow, you're then going to immediately start holding down Shift and A. Not for very long, just for a short amount of time, so that you spend about this much. So that you land on your head, just like that. So you stop as soon as your sparrow, as soon as um, the right end of it, right here, as soon as the right end of it is pointing straight up, you stop holding down shift and A. You let go of both. And you land on top of your head. So once you've gotten that timing down, as soon as you let go of shift and A, you're going to double tap D. And you're going to notice you stop your downwards momentum and you're most likely going to get shoved off of your sparrow. So it looks like that, right? Once you've gotten that timing down, that's the first step. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next one. As soon as you've double tapped D, you're going to continue holding down Shift and A, just for a second. You don't even have to hold it down the entire time, just long enough so that your left fin, right here, is facing straight up. And then, as I'm sure you're able to figure out, you're going to let go of everything and then double tap A. So, boom, boom. If you're still holding other buttons, like shift, when you try to do it, you won't get any height, which looks like this. Which is why you have to let go of every button when you go to do it. So, don't make that mistake. And then, obviously, from that point on, it's just timing. You just continue holding down shift and A tapping, shift and A tapping, shift and A tapping. Once you've gotten the first two, it's just figuring out how to chain more together, but that's literally how you sparrow fly. It's a really simple concept. It's just difficult to get the timing down. Once you do, it's not hard at all. It's just awkward. That's what most of the tricks in this series are, but yeah, that's literally it. That's how you sparrow fly. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.